Hey everybody! So, I've had people submit to me on Facebook that they want to hear about my best and worst date. Well, I don't really think I should be that specific about things, but today I'll tell you things not to do on your first date. Here we go! If you are sick, stay home. Nobody wants you snotting all over the food. Don't go to the bathroom for an obscene amount of time and then come back to the table and inform me that you had a massive shit. Even if you had a bad day that day, whenever they ask you how your day was, say it was good. On a first date, nobody wants to hear how shitty your day was. Try to keep your conversation in the area of maybe PG-13 or a little bit over, uh, above, almost maybe R-rated, but not that deep, because nobody wants to know how big somebody's long is over dinner. Don't show up for your dinner hungover. Nobody wants you to be running to the bathroom to puke because the smell of the Chinese food you decided to eat made you sick. Your weight and diet is not a topic of discussion. If I chose to go on the date with you, that means I really don't have a problem with your weight or with what you look like. I don't need you telling me, oh, I need to lose weight. Oh, maybe you might like me. Oh, oh, if, maybe if I lost some weight, you'd love me right now. Oh, maybe. No, no. Goodbye. Pay attention to what you're wearing. I'm not saying you have to dress very classy, jeans and t-shirt, jeans and shorts if it's summertime or whatever, but if you're showing up looking like you could be living in a dumpster, then I don't have time for that. Swerve! Don't take your shoes off during dinner. Not okay. I don't want to be smelling that. And to top it off, if you take off your shoe and then proceed to try to ask me to look at your toenail because it's falling off while we're sitting in a public place, I'm likely to get up and leave you sitting. Unless you previously both have kids or they know about your kids, don't talk about kids. If you're both single people and neither one of you have ever had a child, there is no need to bring up the subject of children. If you've recently had someone die or had some form of tragedy in your life, don't go out on a date. Just saying. Because in my perspective, it means I'm more of a psychiatrist in that situation. And I don't want to be. I want to enjoy the date. I want to spend time with you. I don't want to be sitting there like Oprah and learning all your business. After one date, I don't want a friend request asking me to be in a relationship with you. Facebook official, not. This may sound a little harsh, but I have a hard time focusing when somebody has a pimple on their face. So at least before you leave, could you try to get rid of the white ones? Like, the red ones, I'm okay, but the white ones, I have this really bad problem to where I just want to pop it, and then that makes me the, be the disgusting person at the meal. So, we don't need no, no gooey stuff flying. Don't drink too much. I don't need to carry you home and help you throw up in the toilet. If I decide to come over to your place to hang out for a first date... Don't immediately throw on adult film on the TV and begin to inappropriately touch yourself in front of me. It's not a great experience for me, and yes, it's happened. Well, that's a few things not to do on a first date. I may or may not have experienced a few of those, and I'm not telling you if I have. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel and like my video right down there. Uh, go to TMI with Rich on Facebook and like my page. And follow me on Twitter at, at Rich7190. Have a great day. And remember, there's no such thing as TMI in my book. See ya!